All right, welcome everybody. Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. Here we are, international right now, worldwide. I think it is where's that Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another YouTube video. All right, so here is Quaint Card, Quaint Card, and um, I know I brought it up earlier this week as kind of like a one-week uh, review and kind of look into an update on what's been going on with quaint guard for the past week and so um, I alluded to possibly doing an interview with the CEO and so with that um, that's been arranged so, so here today a uh, special guest here is the CEO of quaint guard we have uh, I don't want to say your name incorrectly but is it dragon correct okay there we go well, welcome, Dragon, um, to the Crypto Muscle Network here, and uh, I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, every now and then, I do like to do interviews and such with, uh, whether it's uh, YouTubers or various uh, company CEOs or representatives and such, so um, it was a good opportunity to bring you on, and so, um, quaint guard, all right, so... Your position with the company is? Um, first of all, nice meeting you and uh, meeting your viewers as well. Um, I am the CEO of CoinGuard and uh, my name is Dragan. So I, uh, I am uh, on board since the company inception. And uh, currently uh, we are good to go in the market. Okay. Um... So, where are you located? Uh, the company, that is, exactly. The company is uh, registered currently in Hong Kong, in the financial district. So, oh. this is uh, our registration uh, address and main office. So, you're registered and licensed there, you said? Um, so, for the licensing, we are uh, very proud to, to finish our extensive registration of the company in Hong Kong. Currently, we are uh, under the process of finalizing the, the licensing as well. Uh, this is uh, unfortunately a painstaking process. Um, but with the next, uh, I think, few updates, uh, we will implement that also in the, into the part, platform itself. Pardon me. Um, and actually this is a very straightforward process because we are not an exchange and uh, we don't need to jump through many hoops uh, regarding this part so all very right so uh, will be updated via our platform itself okay is, is this the only place you're uh, licensing at or is there other no no no, no. there will be uh, more uh, places uh, currently we are investigating um, Saudi Arabia and we are investigating Malta as well. um, the latter one is for some future future plans that we have with uh, our platform as well okay and so um, how do you generate you know money in terms of return to us you know the people that put money into coin guard so actually it is uh, pretty uh, simple so coin guard uh, generates the revenue primarily through trading activities conducted on the on behalf of our users using an advanced trading bot um, through this process we trade capital on various uh, cryptocurrency markets um, leveraging the ai powered algorithms and strategies uh, to capitalize on the market opportunities of course as a result of these trades, uh, CoinGuard earns profits, uh, typically ranging from 0.35 to 1% a day, depending, of course, on the market conditions and the trading performance. Um, these profits contribute to the company's revenue, which is used uh, to return the funds of the investors to our packages. Additionally, CoinGuard uh, is also generating income through trading fees, subscription fees, service charges, and other revenue streams, um, supporting our commitment, of course, to deliver the value and return to our investors. So, in addition to these trading activities, uh, CoinGuard generates revenue through our wallet exchange products and a peer-to-peer -peer transfer service. 
uh, we charge a nominal fee of 2% for each transaction conducted through these services. And this fee structure uh, contributes the, to the company revenue to help to sustain our operations and allowing us to provide uh, innovative solutions and returns to our uh, investors. Um, the revenue generated from these services combined with the profits of the trading activities uh, form the financial backbone of Coinguard, of course. And this is enabling us to commit uh, to our packages and uh, through our innovations through the platform. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so the bot is the main thing, but you have various other revenue streams that also complements the trading bot. Um, and to... Correct. You cannot sustain, of course, uh, only on a bot. That's uh, very difficult uh, to do that. So that's why that there is also a small nominal, nominal charge that we have um, for the activities. Uh, this is uh, to let's say keep the platform up and running that's cool uh i like i like that fact that's not a a common thing where there's something else that complements the bot usually they just say oh we have the trading bot this is what generates the profit or revenue or dividends or however you know they say rewards um but to have other streams that complement that i think that's, that's it's a good way to to help uh fortify yeah what you have it is, it, it is uh, trading so it is uh, of course uh, not 100 uh, percent guaranteed always uh, the part where where it comes into the play it's a very important uh, part to have a revenue stream next to all others to sustain your business model because if you cannot sustain the business model you're out of business uh, very very fast actually so um when it comes to the trading itself is there any prevention from like liquidation and all that because you know the market's been pretty crazy these you know in in these current times you know in terms of the activity one minute it looks like it's pumping up and next thing you know it gets you know dumped on and liquidations happen pretty frequently yeah the the, the part is we get this question quite often um trading is uh of course is always riskful um the the point uh being uh crypto is even more riskful because of the volatile nature of, of the cryptos it goes up or down uh extremely violent um the trading bots uh, because we do the machine learning which is in actually the, the ai that is uh, behind it um, is learning and is has been trained in the past uh, period uh, of two years with a um, very good performance. So the bot is not only good when there is a bull market because everybody can earn money in bull market. Uh, that is the easy part. But you need also to to be able to um, sustain this model when the market goes down, and that's the biggest problem with uh, with many platforms is how do you do that and how fast can your um can you switch your business model to either mitigate loss or completely uh, diminish the loss so uh the biggest question here is always this question that's commonly asked in many platforms is can you provide proof of trading like how do you is there any sort of proof that you provide or show you know, to kind of say, hey, this is what we do. Yeah, so we do that uh, via various of, uh, of parts. So, um, of course, we can do that. Uh, we have a transparent uh, relationship with our users. Um, when you come to the platform, you can see that uh, all is very uh, transparent. Um, we will provide monthly trading reports. They will be published regularly to provide transparency and insight uh, into the platform's uh, performance of the trading bot. Um, however, it is important to note that the bot requires um, 30 operational days um, to generate these kind of reports. We cannot do that faster because the data needs to be substantial in order to make it uh, work. So this 30-day period uh, allows the bot to fully engage in the trading activities, um, thereby collecting, of course, a comprehensive set of data 
which is cr crucial for detailed analysis. And the purpose of this uh, derision is that it has an adequate time to implement its strategies and to interact with the various of market conditions. So, like I said, it goes up. That's easy part. But when it goes down, you also need to have a strategy uh, behind it. Uh, this in turn allows the, the reports to be more accurate and reflect the efficiency of the trading bot. So such detailed uh, reports are essential for the evaluation of the bot's decision-making process and the overall uh, success in navigating in these financial markets. Okay, so it's pretty. Uh, uh, it's not uncommon to have a 30-day sort of report when it comes to trading bots. It's, it's not an uncommon thing, so it's... it's it's pretty common, so yeah. yeah. The the part also you can find it on on your dashboard. So when you're in the platform in the dashboard, you will find a uh, history tab where you can look into all the details of your uh, transactions and everything. So you get the day by day. You get an, uh, a kind of history what is happening, uh, etc. So you can track it also in that way. Okay. Um, also, you kind of mentioned it um, when you were talking earlier, but um, how long or have you uh, back tested the trading uh, before fully, I guess, implementing the bot and the platform and all that into play here? Uh, how long did you go through that process? I think you might have said it already, but... Yeah. The, the backtesting period for these uh, trading strategies um, is an essential factor, of course, uh, for checking the potential um, effectiveness and robustness of the overall uh, uh, performance of the, of the bots. Uh, for the rigorous evaluation, we conducted uh, the backtesting over uh, multiple market cycles. Um, so it is not, uh, let's say, one period, it is a large amount of data. Uh, Minimum to, to do that is, for example, one and a half to two years, because in the past two years we had quite a lot of uh, fluctuations in the market. So you need to always to um, take a very big sample data, of course. And uh, ideally, the longer the period uh, of this backtesting is uh, for the data, uh, the better the trading strategy will work. Um, to tell you like this, um, a well backtested trading strategy often undergoes analysis across uh, various of scenarios, including the bull and the bear markets, and the periods of different economic cycles. So this extensive testing helps us to understand how the strategy is uh, going to perform or have performed historically, and how uh, uh, how it can perform for the future as well. Um, Moreover, uh, we did a backtesting. Uh, it involved also risk management settings um, to see how the bot behaves also in loss scenarios. Like I said before, it is easy uh, to make everything work when the market is going up, but when the market is uh, going down or in a flat uh, state, uh, like for example now, then um, yeah, it's problem how to how to solve that hmm. so are there bots out there in the market that can work on a bear market kind of just going down or is there not really a thing i'm just curious on that part i think uh, the the part is um with bots you need to see it uh, like an uh, it's it's not a physical thing, you know. A, a bot is a uh, piece of software that is written by a uh, software engineer that uh, executes something uh, based on an algorithm. Now, yeah. uh, the part about how good your algorithm is, how good it has been written, and how good it uh, it can be implemented, that is um, the performance of your bot. So uh, let's let's take an example out of the, the normal trading, not crypto trading, but um, in Wall Street uh, they they use a lot of uh, quaint bots. So for the people who do not know what a quaint bot is, is the high volume uh, trading bots. Um, it is very commonly used. 
it's not something uh, that is not used and all the big companies are using these kind of tools uh, to help them make very fast trades because uh, what essentially the bot is for it's to make extremely fast trades um, based on the difference in a market it's called uh, arbitrage trading and uh, once there are the, the minuscule let's say differences this is where the bots are uh, are making these kind of trades and this happens in the background nobody is noticing it's extremely technical um the part is how much data you input into your bot um that amount you can also of uh, no the, not that amount but uh, you can also um get a better performance out of it um of course in the end uh, again it is something that is written by a human it is executing on uh, a predefined set of rules and um, you can manipulate uh, these things to mitigate losses or to uh, go to extreme heights uh, with extreme high risks involved uh, to to get huge profits out um it it depends on how the how these uh, pieces of uh, software or the bots are tuned actually the the biggest danger in this uh, part is that you over tune it which quite often happens that uh, your bot cannot uh, react very fast to the changes into the market so when it goes down it has a very long delay of reacting upon the down market I hope uh, this makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> no, I understand. Um, it's pretty common for uh, these sort of bot software related platforms to go into arbitrage trading. And what I like about bots and arbitrage trading is that humans, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to go through and scour through all these various exchanges to go from one to the other. So, you know, buy, buy low, sell high when the bots or more pinpoint accurate they could find them you know and boom 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 instantly you know complete the transactions a lot faster than we can that's what i like about the bots and arbitrage trading correct correct and that's the that's actually the the point where everybody is uh they don't understand if you don't understand the technology behind it then um you cannot also judge uh, that part uh, we are a tech company of course and uh, behind that behind the box uh, we have spent a lot of hours uh, developing these kind of things so um no human can uh, execute the trades uh, as fast as a bot can do so it can be for example that on one platform uh, you have a price differential with another of one and a half two percent and this is only uh let's say three four seconds uh in the market how are you going to uh execute these kind of uh, trades it's practical impossibility to to do this by hand yeah because uh, until you click um you execute you do this you do that it's um it's really difficult you have very successful traders who can uh, switch extremely fast but um, those are a diamond of the dozen it's it's not uh, common to to have this kind of thing so is the basis of the trading that you're doing is it um arbitrage trading or a high frequency type trading or what sort of uh it is always a combination and you cannot uh, pinpoint one thing okay it is um, it is always a combination of strategies you know if you commit to one strategy you're locked into it but if you have multiple bots uh, doing multiple things then uh, you can say okay now we can do this we can do that we can do on on this kind of thing and then you're averaging the line so it is it is not one strategy or one size fits all it's it's never this oh kind so of thing. is that what quant guard is doing is a various strategies and not just one it's all, 
Yeah, it's always various. Uh, various oh, okay, issues. that's that's pretty cool because you know a lot of platforms only offer. Oh, we only do arbitrage trading with the AI bot, and but if you're doing various strategies, uh, it gives you different advantages into earning. You know, maybe uh, one type the, of trading. The the part is, um, let's say, arbitrage trading is just a uh, generic uh, term. Um, that part is uh, is but the strategies underlying this kind of uh, arbitrage trading you can do arbitrage at very low risk this is a, also a possibility you know that, that there is almost I, I cannot say zero risk but uh, that it is a very low risk uh, exposure but you can also do uh, trading at very high risk levels it, it is depending upon the appetite of the people that are willing to uh, risk their capital into an uncertain uh, trade it's it's actually that that simple that um, in arbitrage you can have probably underlying maybe five six seven strategies all kinds of things uh, it's not interconnected to, to each other so if we got into arbitrage trading um you can have six, seven underlying strategies, of course. Okay, I got you. That's cool. Um, so, are you accessible at all to the people out there, you know, the quote-unquote investors or people that are getting yeah. involved? How yeah, accessible for potential, are you? Yeah, for potential uh, interested parties, uh, we are very accessible. So, we have, uh, of course, um, your standard Telegram groups, um, we are doing uh, Zoom calls with uh, interested parties. Uh, we have a very big uh, team that uh, supports us uh, behind us. So we can provide always a helping hand um, if somebody wants to talk to me directly and there's a certain interest, they can always contact our team and uh, we can schedule a uh, Zoom call or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's uh, We are a tech-based company, so we can do quite a lot of things. You can reach us also via our Facebook group, um, Telegram, I already said, um, some other media. You can check it out on our site and you can see uh, actually where we and how we can do, uh, how we can contact normal way, your email. We have um, a uh, very nice uh, support bot on the, on the website as well. So extreme, you can get extremely fast uh, in touch uh, with us. Um, I think currently the fastest method is just uh, check it out in our uh, Telegram group because uh, we are quite a lot online there and we read all, all of our messages. All right. Yeah, it does sound like you're pretty accessible. And you are, you are, I do see you active in the Telegram group, actually, um, in that Telegram group. <laughs> you, are, you are pretty active in there, engaging yes, with yes, everybody. Yes, yes. Um, yes, so how how big is your team? Oh, that's a uh, very thing. Uh, depending upon the needs, upon uh, we have very big plans, so we are looking uh, to expand our team. Um, we have uh, some new hires uh, recently as well. Our support team is uh, pretty big because that's actually we we pride ourselves on our uh, support uh, people. Um, and our back office is, of course, the, the biggest one. Uh, we need to have people that can uh, support and can uh, sustain this kind of communication type. Um, this is never a one-man show. There's always a very big team. Uh, devs, depending upon the project needs, we are now, because we are in the beginning stage, so we have a lot of devs. Uh, we are developing uh, the mobile app currently uh very soon we will be uh de developing also the chatbot will be released uh, all kinds of the, the trading bot uh v2 will be released yeah wow. quite a lot yeah, yeah. that's nice it's, um, it's not a small team <laughs> that's good uh especially you mentioned support that's very important because uh, a lot of times uh a lot of platforms have issues with support in terms of just being accessible because there's not enough of it, but it sounds like you have a pretty deep level of support that people will be 
uh, I guess, answer to and a point, you know, they, they will, they will yeah, get... Yeah, we have, um, I'm, I'm on, on regular base. I am um, in the Telegram group as well. So uh, if I cannot answer, there's somebody else who can answer. Uh, our support team, uh, they have the, or a similar know-how as I have, so they can pretty fast react upon uh, the, the, the changes. We have uh, implemented this uh, this new tech also, the AI bot. So if something is not inside of that uh, database, so you get uh, directed uh, directly to a human that is behind that as well. So all these kind of things uh, make us more accessible. And uh, because we are working uh, worldwide, uh, OK, I cannot be 24-7 of course online uh, neither my colleagues so we work in a kind of a scheduled uh, way that's good um since you mentioned zoom um and you know we're only one week in right now but are you planning on like a weekly zoom call or some sort of like company call or are you planning on doing something like that um yes we are planning it uh, we are setting up uh, currently the the things to do uh, AMAs, for example, uh, right. to have an, uh, probably meet the CEO, uh, if it will be exactly every week, we will see that, uh, of course, uh, that depends upon the, the timing, but um, something like meet the CEO or meet the, meet the marketing uh, director or whoever, it, it doesn't matter, but we will be accessible, of course. Okay. So, well, that's cool. Um, well, since uh, you, you know we're going down that way, how about um, can you tell us a little bit about your background, like your your background, uh, you know, the, your career, you know, what yes, led so, you uh, what led you to this? So me, me personally, I've uh, led uh, various of companies in the in various of sizes. Uh, some uh, some are very big names. Uh, some are just uh, startups. Uh, but I come from the tech uh, field uh, since uh, 1999. I am in the in the IT industry. Um, I'm also since the early 2014 2015. I'm in the crypto space. So I'm really one of the dinosaurs in, inside of it. And uh, yeah, the idea of CoinGuard uh, when they approached me was a very appealing one as it is based on AI, uh, which uh, for me, it's not a buzzword because I did uh, several of these kind of uh, projects in the past. And uh, the system is a yeah, self-learning, which is a big advantage to, to anybody. So this is why I like the, the AIs because I see the, the future um where you can expand it to or where you should not expand it to and um uh, as you maybe know quaint guard uh, or the quaint for quaint guard uh, stands for quaint trading uh, which involves also the, you know, the use of computer algorithms and programs and behind that there are very complex mathematical models uh, so this is actually also a very nice thing uh, to to have because they are the state of the art algorithms. And that was, um, in short, it was uh, the part that was appealing for me to come into this uh, startup and uh, which has a clear user uh, scenario for the AI and to, to help and see uh, the trading opportunities uh, which, uh, which are being offered uh, currently. So in the beginning, there are two packages, but that will be expanding. Uh, soon as we see the the range of the bots uh, the performance range let's say of the bots uh, there will be more packages there will be more features added to it uh, one of the features uh, like uh, if somebody read our white paper will be also the uh, adjustability of the bots by the user themselves so they can uh, choose actually what kind of strategy they want. Either they want a very high risk one or they want a low risk strategy. There will be all kinds of uh, parameters uh, to be able to adjust um, and also something to test out uh, 
or to do a back testing on the strategy that that they have selected. Uh, those will be in the in the future update of the platform. Okay. How about um, expansion of cryptos being utilized in the platform? Any any sort of uh, talk of that sometime in the future? You know, of expansion of that. Uh, we um, we need to start from something. Yeah. So, um, in, you know, you can have uh, 100 uh, cryptos. Uh, it does not help you. Uh, we try to keep the fees as low as possible for everybody. So that's uh, one of the things which is extremely important in our business um, because we depend upon gas fees, upon all kinds of uh, things. Um, we will be added in, adding in the future uh, much more cryptos. When and how? If it, it, only if it makes or sense, or right? Only if it makes sense. Yeah, we will. We will keep. Um, we will keep the main ones for sure. Right. So we will go with with the main and stable coins uh, for sure. So we will not go into the let's say uh, risk coins or uh, some coins that are. Uh, um, they launched uh, two weeks ago, and tomorrow they can be gone. Yeah. So this is yeah. This is not what we what we can do because that's not a sustainable way or how to do the business. So with stable coins, um, we can do that. And uh, yeah, sometimes you're, you're lucky, sometimes you're unlucky. But uh, the part with stable coins is uh, that the name says it as well. Uh, they are less subs- less prone to say market fluctuations in the sense of uh, today I uh, I exchanged I don't know uh, BTCs and uh, they suddenly drop in 30 40 50 percent uh, which you have with other coins for example you have this kind of uh, yeah curve yeah um, you know I did see something uh, mentioned in the Telegram group that something is coming on the 25th. Can you talk about what's coming on the 25th? Um, we have a lot of plans. Uh, so I am I need to double check what our schedule is on the on the 25th. Uh, our uh, launch. This, uh, this will be our official launch from the platform um, this month. We have done already a soft launch. So the platform is active and uh, you can already access it. Uh, you can start already with uh, with interacting with it. Um, on the 25th is our official launch. Um, afterwards, we will go into the first big software update. Uh, that is a kind of... Uh, let's say perfection of what we are doing. Uh, people don't notice it, but we have almost every week we have an update uh, on the platform. So um, we now have started already. The 25th is the official launch. We are going full scale, full power. Our bots will be unleashed, not throttled uh, anymore. And then uh, from that point on, we will have a few phases uh, that we are going to to be uh, entering into. Um, for example, phase three is the app launch, the, the mobile app. Uh, simply, we did not have time to, to finish it, uh, unfortunately, uh, from the beginning. So we will, uh, the, the first priority for us is to make this app uh, happen, of course. Afterwards, uh, we will be also uh, having the signal chatbot um and then we will have some events uh for the users to do a kind of meet and greet with us in various locations um all will be announced via our platform and of course via our telegram group. okay <clears throat> pardon yeah that was the question i was going to ask about you know people are always asking are there going to be any sort of meet and greet but you, you just mentioned that meet and greet events Things like that. There will be, yeah, yeah, there will be. They are scheduled. Um, of course, currently the the schedule is very flexible about it. So we we will have a few uh, events planned already. Uh, 
we plan Thailand, Dubai, we plan uh, a lot of places we are under discussion as well. So we will see. But, uh, we will announce that for sure via our Telegram group. Nice. So how many uh, YouTubers have you done interview with so far? <laughs> that's uh, that's something that uh, my team can answer you. Uh, I've done uh, quite uh, quite some interviews for Quainguard. I'm, t- I'm talking uh, about in reference to Quainguard. No, no, no. For for Quainguard, you're one of the first ones because oh, nice. we uh, we just uh, we just launched. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. I was so, just asking. <laughs> yeah, you you have a real uh, uh, premiere. Uh, let's say for this. Nice. Yeah, I, I like to bring a, a different perspective in this space, and uh, that's what I usually do. Um, I'm not just some typical YouTuber, you know. I, I bring a different spin mm-hmm. on things, so that's why. So, um, But I do want to thank you for, uh, you know, taking your time to, you know, go out of your way to to uh, have, I guess you could say, like this Q&A sort of thing with Quaint Guard and mm-hmm. telling us about what it's about and a little bit about yourself and everything about it and, and what's coming, you know, for the future of Quaint Guard. And it looks like it's looking pretty bright, you know, with what we got going on here. And now it's going to be launching on the 25th. And so, yeah, it's looking good. You know, I'm pretty excited yeah, about so everything. So we, we have, uh, actually, we have already launched so it's not only the the 25th the, the platform is up and running already right yeah it is more of an yeah it is more of a uh, soft launch so you can register you can uh, check it out uh, in, in the uh, everything is working and you can go to the dashboard you can check it out there is a referral program into it uh, you can you can see a lot of things happening uh, on there um you can join our Telegram group as well. You will see uh, all kinds of things uh, in the Telegram group. Um, we are pretty accurate when it comes and, and fast when, when it comes to replies. So yeah, sometimes, of course, we cannot be on, on all platforms at, uh, at the same time, but uh, yeah, we reply for sure. That's, that's one of, uh, of the things. And uh, we pride ourselves uh, because we have a nice uh, support staff which uh, can actually uh, help everybody in, so, in their quest. So what's upcoming? So we have this, I guess you could say, official launch on the 25th. So uh, any, any, what's coming next? Would you, or, or yeah, is so, there, or can you could clue us in on? Um, like I mentioned just before, uh, before this, um, we will get a major software update uh, very soon. So uh, we will release that as an uh, as a kind of V2 package uh, onto the platform. Uh, some small tweaks uh, because uh, we did not release all uh, features from the beginning. Of course, uh, would be also uh, not uh, a smart thing to do. But step by step, you will see the the, the features being uh, released. And as time will progress, you will see more things uh, which are necessary or for a platform like ours to function, you will be seeing implemented. So the big part that uh, very soon is going to be launched, that is the app version. So there is an app for Android and for iOS. That is a very big uh, thing. Um, we are working uh, to make it uh, very, very smooth working. Um, they are doing the, the testing currently, so I think we will be uh, on time. Uh, it is planned on July 1st to, to make the launch of that. Uh, maybe a few days earlier, maybe a few days later. Um, the the trading signal bot, um, we are preparing for a token launch. Um, that is very harsh, of course, still. Um, then we are uh, preparing for several conferences like i already said uh, this part and uh, the expansion of our rewards program for our users so there will be a very big expansion when you go to our website you can see that uh, there's a small roadmap on our website um once you go to uh, the referral program you can see all the details about the referral program so it is quite extensive it is not a small uh, referral program 
So it uh, it can be something for some active users to to be taking advantage uh, out of it. Um, yeah, and that's it. What I can say for now nice. about uh, everything. Wow. But there are there is a lot of there's a lot more coming. Um, our team ex- is expanding very rapidly, so uh, very soon you will see quite some new faces on the on our website. Um, some other things you will as well see. Uh, yeah, it's we are moving forward. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, look, that, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to see. How everything just kind of uh, evolves over time and go from there, uh, and just the growth of everything, you know. So that's cool. I just want to say thank yeah, you. We we are also very uh, very excited. Thank you as well. Thank your uh, audience as well, and uh, maybe we will see them uh, on our platform in the future. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, so there you have it. All right, so we just did a kind of a conversation, if you want to call it that, uh, interview of uh, the CEO slash founder of QuaintGuard, QuantGuard. And uh, yeah, hopefully you like what you see or what you heard about it and what it's all about. So uh, real quickly, you know, we'll just take a, a run through once again just to see you know what we were talking about all right so you know queen guard they have uh, ai trading strategies all right crypto momentum and satoshi's secret success i call it secret sauce all right and you can see the, the you know one version of the grid strategy the other one's the dca strategy you can mess around with the profit calculator and then this is what it is right the plan so the momentum basic functionality limited ai capabilities 200 dollar minimum so you're making 0.35 percent per day and you're going to get 110 percent total roi on business days the secret sauce here is the one percent per day yeah it is 2500 dollar minimum but what you get out of it is advanced capabilities one percent 130% 130% total ROI, daily payouts, 5% cash back at the end of the cycle, and a gift program as well. All right, so, and that's uh, part of the main program they got here in terms of this right here, the referral program. All right, so you can see here, the gift program kicks in right here. All right. So that's further down the line, you know, when you're building a team. So what does it mean to build a team? Well, it's just sharing your link, right? If people believe what they see and they like what they see, they sign up with your link, right? So as your time builds up and goes on, then, um, you know, your numbers start to build under you, right? So once you start hitting some of these numbers under you as what they call now a team, then your commissions start to get bigger down the line as in more people could come in under you and then that person that comes in under that person you get some of that and if that person comes in after under that one and then that one you get some of that and it expands and you won't believe you know when once you go all these levels deep you won't believe like what you would get as people come up from under one another under you uh you know what you get out of it is just pretty uh crazy interesting and crazy good so in time you start getting bonuses that get hit and you get paid out on some bonuses all right so that's just come in due time once you share your links and all that you got the roadmap talked about 25th being the quote unquote official official launch, right? Plus a uh, software update. He says it's gonna be a big software update, no downtime. He's just gonna do it behind the scenes. You heard him say that. And then the rest going forward on uh, what's to come. So pretty interesting stuff. Good dude, uh, had a little chat with him. 
and um, he comes from the technical background, like he said in, in the interview, and technical slash financial background. So he has a lot of know, you know, uh, he's been in crypto since what, 20, I think he said 2013, 2014. So he knows what crypto is about. He's been more on the technology side of things. That's where he uh, became a believer in the concept of crypto was on the technical side of things, not necessarily the financial side of things. Uh, he was telling me a story about his first time getting Bitcoin at 50 bucks. <laughs> and I was like, damn, 50 bucks. Those are, that was a long time ago, you know, from where it is now, right? So uh, good dude, though, good dude. And you'll see in time, like if you go join the Telegram group and all that, very active in the Telegram group. Um, and you heard what he said, you know, you got, you know, events, meet and greets and all that stuff coming. But right now, just working on trying to get the site really up and going and uh, start kicking it off with like those AMAs and all that stuff. So good stuff. And you heard what he said, first to the dance right here on the Crypto Muscle Network. All right. So yeah, so those are the plans. And uh, I joined in on this one, the 1% Secret Success, the Secret Sauce plan. And, um, you know, I showed you guys an update on that back on Monday. So, um, you know, if you guys want to see the update, uh, I launched getting into this thing on their launch, uh, I guess their uh, pre-launch right, last week. And then a couple of days ago, I did an update. And then now followed up with um, this interview here. So it was pretty cool. So other than that, I hope you guys liked it. And I just want to say thanks for uh, checking it out. And uh, yeah, take, take a look at this though. You know, see if this is something that would be uh, suit, suited for you. Seems like they're, you know, going to be around for the long, you know. <laughs> well, we, we all know everybody's aim is to be around for the long term. But they seem to be, you know, having all their... Uh, you know, what do they call that? Having all their uh, ducks in a row and all that stuff. So everything's looking pretty good. So we'll see what happens, right? That's the only thing we can do. Only time will tell. All right. So other than that, uh, links are in the description for everything. Comment down below. Uh, subscribe to everything I got, right? And when I say that, I say that because I got two channels. Uh, you know, I got my Telegram announcement channel, Telegram group. I got my link tree. If you like music mashups. I got a lot of stuff, all right, you know, and, and the best way to to harness everything is because I'm always chock full of information, all right, that's one thing I love to do is give information, I'm always full, always, always, always about information, all right, so uh, other than that, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.